definitely more comfortable this year, especially coming here last year and big expectations. And uh, obviously it didn't go as planned being being out for most of the year. So, uh, but we, we love it here. I have a family. Um, my boy is four years old now and he goes to school in, in Camerino and he's, uh, he's speaking Italian now. He's the only one in the family that speaks Italian. So I need him as my translator mostly in a lot of places I go. So, I mean, that, that gives me a lot of pride to, uh, to know that moving here uh, gave my son these different life experiences and, uh, you know, he's growing as, as a young kid. For me personally, I think, um, you know, right now is kind of the, uh, you know, a little feelings of anxiety is leading toward the end of the season and, you know, we're, we're fighting for our lives. So, you know, as an import and, uh, you know, a leader on this team, I feel the, uh, the need to get us through the, these, tough, these tough times as well as a lot of the other guys do. So um, now's the time where, where our leaders got to be the best and, um, you know, keep the season alive and make sure we finish on a high note here. Yeah, the atmosphere here in the Valasha is, it's always pretty vibrant. It's, um, you know, any type of little slash or hook from the opponents and you got uh, 6,000 fans screaming at the ref all the time. So it definitely keeps you in the game. Um, I don't know how they sit here for three hours in the freezing cold and watch it, but at least we're moving around out there. We can stay warm that way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's... I think it's got its own presence here when other teams come into Valasha too. They, they're a little mentally um, uh, intimidated uh, with the crowd and the cold and we're all used to it now. So I think that gives us an advantage. I want to thank the, uh, the Ambry fans for keeping coming out and supporting us. And uh, you know, we're working hard for you guys. So. Uh, via Spetta alla Valascia. Bring it back.